And away they go. Racing for the South West Racing Club Novices Chase. Over two miles, 13 fences to cross. And Maracuja leads Bally Bolly by just over a length as they come to jump the first. Maracuja accelerates into the fence, takes another length out of Bally Bolly. Already they're clear of Oscar's Way, who'd be about eight lengths behind the front pair, who are heading towards fence number two. Another plain one, Maracuja lifts off in front of Bally Bolly, about a length and a half between them. They jumped it rather more convincingly than Oscar's Way, who's already being cajoled along eight lengths behind. Now to the first of the open ditches, Maracuja into it first and jumped it better than Bally Bolly and Oscar's way backed off it really badly and lost another eight lengths on the front pair. Gets several reminders which he looks none too pleased with and he's being left a long way behind even though they've gone less than half a mile. So the front pair are coming out of the fence number four Maracuja attacking the fences Bally Bolly giving chase about a length and a half behind. Oscar's way jumped that one with more conviction than he did the ditch but it is about half it size and he's now the best part of 100 yards behind the front pair. So Maracuja and Bally Bolly in line for home on the first circuit, approaching fence number five. Maracuja on the inside, jumping it cleanly. Two in front of Bally Bolly. And then this long gap back to Oscar's Way, who's going right-handed to get over the fences, but he is still coming. Now to fence number six, Maracuja and Sam Twiston Davis over it fluently with a two-length advantage over Bally Bolly and Daryl Jacob. And Oscar's Way, 100 yards adrift, is out over it safely as the the front pair past the judge with a circuit to go in a length between Maracuja and Bally Bolly. Oscar's Way is embarking on his final circuit of the race course now as the front pair make their journey on towards fence number seven which is taken just before the turn into the back straight and the hooded Maracuja continues to lead Bally Bolly by over a length. Oscar's Way is getting plenty of encouragement from the saddle but he's not looking at all keen as Maracuja crosses fence number seven, jumped it really well, took another length out of Bally Bolly who uh, didn't make a mistake but he wasn't anywhere near as fast over over the fence as Maracuja, who's now established a five-length lead as they head off down the far side once again. Oscar's way is on his way towards fence number eight as the leaders clear it, and Maracuja's advantage over Bally Bolly is now about six lengths. They'll be jumping the middle fence in the back straight before Oscar's way jumps the first on the far side. Maracuja over it now. Bally Bolly got in close to that fence, made a mistake. A rather irresolute-looking Oscar's way is still on his way to fence number nine as Maracuja comes into the wings of the final open ditch. She's over it safely, landing still five lengths clear of Bally Bolly and Daryl Jacob. Oscar's Way is running towards the open ditch as the leaders approach the fence on the home turn. Three out with Bally Bolly urged along to get markedly closer to Maracuja. Another good jump though from Maracuja puts Bally Bolly on the back foot once again. There's five lengths between them with Daryl Jacob trying to urge Bally Bolly to go quicker but Maracuja still looks to be cruising in front for Sam Twist and Davis Oscar's way is about to approach the third from home as Maracuja comes to jump the second last Maracuja, Sam Twist and Davis out over it safely, still six in front of the hard driven Bally Bolly who's making no impression on this uh, French bread and Maracuja's advantage over Bally Bolly is eight lengths as he comes to jump the last, he's out over it safely a good round of jumping, we'll see Maracuja home on his chasing debut, making every yard of the running uh, to run out an impressive and unchallenged winner. Maracuja beat Bally Bolly. Oscar's Way has just jumped the second last, and if the judge waits long enough, he'll place him third, assuming he gets over the last. Slick, accurate, speed jumping from Maracuja. Steady, not always accurate, and ponderous jumping from Bally Bolly and that has made the difference here. Maracuja looked all pace. Bally Bolly looked devoid of pace and judged by this effort Nigel Twist and Davis will have to step Bally Bolly up in distance whereas Maracuja already I imagine will get a quote for the Arkle after this because with a rating of 140 Maracuja won't have to get much better to have a chance of at least a place in an Arkle chase. A long way, of course, between now and March, but this was a very, very impressive 
Nine lengths success for Maracuja. And suggesting there were going to be much bigger wins in this horse. Um, although a French import never raced over fences in France at any stage. Did run against um, some good horses at the Hurdler, Peace and Co. And Altior, as I was saying earlier, Bouvedere. But judged by this effort and the size of this animal, it was a much bigger horse than Bally Bolly at the start. Uh, chasing was always going to be its game. And a perfect ride by Sam Twist, an aggressive 